He went and stared out of the window. The garden lay below him with the allotments just beyond, the various plots forming a kind of patchwork that sloped gently uphill to the woods. Away to his right, the cornfield shifted and swirled as if governed by mysterious tides, hidden currents. When he first viewed the house, it had been summer, and the corn was high, its yellow randomly sown with poppies. He'd rarely seen anything so beautiful. Today, though, its beauty seemed inappropriate, if not actually malicious. To think that their marriage had started there, to think that he had taken Sue by the hand and led her out to the middle of that field, Susie as she was then. And now, a decade later, here they were, bound together by a little more than arguments and tears, by vicious words, by things they didn't even mean.